This is every main character's home ranked by how much I'd want to live in it. Number 10 is Katara and Sokka's igloo. Let's face it, it's an igloo. This is easily the worst place to grow up. Number 9 is the Southern Air Temple. Aang seemed to have his own room in the Southern Air Temple, and it looks fine. Number 8 is Korra's house. We only see this house in the opening of The Legend of Korra, but it's pretty quaint and basic. Number 7 is the Southern Water Tribe compound. Korra definitely got an upgrade from her old home to the compound that she trained as Avatar. Number 6 is Mako and Bolin's apartment. In book 2 of Korra, Korra, Mako and Bolin move into a new apartment in Republic City. It even has its own hot tub. Number five is the pro bending arena's attic. It was probably worse than the apartment the brothers eventually got, but you can't beat the view. Number four is Air Temple Island. Korra had her own room in the women's quarter of Air Temple Island. Number three is the Fire Nation Royal Palace. This is truly the first luxurious home. Number two is the Bay Falling Estate. Toph's home is probably the most beautiful in the series. And number one is the Sato Estate. It has its own indoor swimming pool and an underground bunker.